Suppose we have two toys here, toy one and toy two, and these two toys are of the same size and shape. Same size and shape. So if these two toys are of same size and shape, then these two toys will be, these two objects will be congruent, congruent objects. This, these two objects represent satellite model. Suppose they are not exactly looking like a satellite, but you know, they are a model of a satellite. They are models of a satellite. This satellite one model and this satellite two model, these two are exactly of the same size and shape, just like these two toys. Therefore, even these two objects having same size and shape will be called congruent objects. Congruent objects. And this relationship of being of same size and shape and therefore being congruent is called congruence. Congruence. So clearly we are going to talk about congruent and co congruent objects, congruent and congruence in our next couple of videos because we are going to cover this topic. So remember these two terms congruent and congruence. This was about objects, okay. And here in this, these two figures are actually plain figures. They are plain figures. Now, if you're wondering that, what do we mean by plain figures? Why this plain word before figures? Actually, plain figures represent those figures which are two-dimensional, which are two-dimensional. What does that mean? It means that they will have length and they will have width. They will have length and width, but they will not be having depth. So two-dimensional figures are those, plane figures are two-dimensional figures having only length and width, like a triangle, okay, like a circle, like a hexagon. Okay. So these all figures are actually plane figures. That is, they will be, ha they will be having two dimensions, length and the width, but not the depth. But suppose if I draw, if I draw a, let's say I'm drawing a cube. Just a rough diagram of a cube. This is a cube or cuboid, anything. But just I want to show you a three dimensional figure. Now, in this case, it's having length, it's having width. And it's having in this direction like this is a three-dimensional figure a uh, depth or height also okay so in this one you'll be having length and a width length and a width two-dimensional no depth but in this case length width and then from up to bottom that is the depth or the height that's why this is three-dimensional so in this discussion on congruent and congruence, we will just focus on plane figures, that is figures that are two-dimensional and not three-dimensional. The reason I explained you that what do we mean by plane figures, two-dimensional and three-dimensional, so that things should be clear in your mind that what do we exactly mean when we tell plane figures. Okay, this plane figure F1, and this plane figure F2 
are of the same size and shape. Therefore, just like these two objects, these two figures are congruent. Are congruent. Okay. So you will say that F1 is congruent. F1 is congruent to F2. And the way to represent it will be F1 is congruent to F2. This will be the way. This symbol is very important. This one.